Kasi so yung procedure part, doon mo susulat yung, yung sequence of activities mo. That's why we say pattern of learning and teaching. Okay, how you're going to present your motivation, to present the topic, uh, where they will have a group game, an activity, a group activity, and then independent learning. Okay, hanggang sa dulo ng presentation. And last, of course, is admit tayo by Angel. Last is the program of evaluation or outcomes. That's why in the latter part of your lesson plan, you would see the evaluation and assignment. Di ba? May assignment pa doon. So, evaluation. So, these four components are the elements of the curriculum. Patala yung assignment, sir. No, di ba nga may ka-issue last time in Congress or lalakod yung assignment? Okay? Kasi nanuya ka na purpose. Because it's... Uh, they do not know that assignment could be a form of evaluation or a form of reinforcement. So still, assignment is part of the curriculum. And that's my personal stance, okay? That's my personal stance about uh, um, the assignment, doing the assignment. So I repeat, so these are the four elements of curriculum. Statement of aims and specific objectives, your, your objective in your lesson plan. Number two, selection and organization of content. This is reflected in your subject matter. Okay. Number three, the patterns of learning and teaching. That's the procedure part of your lesson plan. And number four, the program of evaluation of outcomes. That's the fourth part of your lesson plan, which is evaluation. And again, I repeat, saan po ang assignment chance, sir? May assignment sa lesson plan. It could be a form of evaluation or a reinforcement, either to your current lesson or to the next lesson. So, this is how we do it sequentially. We start with the objective. So, wag kayo yung nano kayang topic in turo ko. No. What's my objective for the day? What's my objective for the next day? Because we start with the needs of the learners. Aalamin mo muna, di ba, during their first day, kung anong needs nila, you will diagnose. Based from the needs, you, you state your objectives. You craft your objectives. Hindi yung, eto ang content na Na, na tuturo ko sa kanila. Ikaw na ang nag-decision. Okay? You need to know first what they know. Okay? For you to make them know what they do not know. That's the purpose of that. Okay? I repeat, start with the objective, then move to the content. From the objective, select the content. So again, those are the four elements of curriculum. Okay, next. Super lag. Okay. Let's ponder now. How do these elements link to the cycle of curriculum development? Paano sila konektado dun sa cycle ng curriculum development? And what is the cycle of curriculum development? That will make us move to the third part of the session. Okay. Sasaya na kayo third part na, di ba? Makasaya. Okay. So this is what we call the curriculum development cycle. Okay. Tinatawag siyang cycle kasi walang umpisa, no? As you see, it's uh, continuous. It's a cycle. That's why it's a cycle. It's a continuous process. It's a never-ending process because education is uh, continuous. Okay? We cannot saturate education. There's no saturation point in education. For as long as you need, you continue learning. So ang katanong kanina, how do we connect the four elements na binanggit natin to this cycle? Okay, let us connect. Needs assessment. Under needs assess, kaninong needs ba to? Of course, the needs of the learners. The needs of the society. Okay? The needs of the community. Kasi minsan kahit needs ng learner, kung hindi naman siya needs sa society, sayang naman yung ituturo natin. For example, sa isang barangay, uh, farming ang kapaligiran. Anong need ng community? It's about agriculture. So therefore, Nakita mo sa assessment mo na ang pangangailangan is something about agriculture. So teach something about agriculture, the modern ways of farming, for example. Baka namang conventional na ginagamit nila. Okay? So I repeat, uh, under needs assessment, we do not only focus on the child. But that's number one. We prioritize the child. Second to that is the needs of the society. Katulad na lang sa college, pag alam mo na marami ng supply, or let's say for instance, Marami ng nurses sa bansa. Ire-recommend pa ba ng CHED na kumuha pa rin kayo ng nursing? Kawawa naman yung mga graduates, wala silang makukuha ng trabaho. So that's what we mean, na kailangan din i-balance yung 
needs of the society with the needs of the learners. But I repeat, it's just a recommendation from Chad. You still have the right to choose kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung uh, course na gusto mong kunin. But they recommend. So again, needs assessment. Next, you design. Okay, nakita mo na dun sa needs uh, assessment yung pangangailangan. You set now your objectives. That's the first element. We are connecting ha, the elements from the cycle. And then, you choose the content. That's the second element. Ngayon, yung third, yung pattern na tinatawag, i-design mo na. Ayan. You will design. Just like when you craft your lesson plan. Pag susunod-sunodin mo na yung mga activities. How are you going to start? How are you going to end the session? That's designing under curriculum development cycle. At ang tinatarget mo dito is the third element. Patterns of teaching and training. Okay, which is... Uh, the outcome or the, the net subsequently, it will produce the implementation. When I say curriculum implementation, this is the actual teaching sa mga teachers. Sa mga higher authorities, pag sinabing curriculum implementation, ito na yung ibababa nila yung memo at susundin ng school. Pero on our part, at our end as teachers, ang curriculum implementation, yung ginawa natin yung plan, bago natin ginawa, nag-needs assessment muna tayo. And then, from your uh, identified needs, you design. State new objectives, you know, may plano. Ngayon, tapos ka na sa plan. Ano susunod? Siyempre, ituturo mo. That's curriculum implementation. Actual delivery of instruction. And last is the outcome, which is the fourth element, the evaluation. Okay? So, patuloy lang yan. Paano siya naging cycle? Matating araw-araw, sir. What's the purpose of these arrows? The arrows indicates that it's continuous, that after outcomes, Balik ka na naman sa needs assessment. Why? Di ba pagkatapos mo magturo, uh, nalaman mo na, na-evaluate mo na, meron ka ng assessment. Okay, you will assess ilan ang natuto, you will assess kung ilan yung uh, merong level of mastery. Based from that, you decide what go you are going to do next. Balik ka na naman sa needs assessment. Okay, eto yung outcome. These are the result. Ano pa ang kailangan nila? Pag-move na ba kami sa next topic or reteach? Okay? At pag sinaming reteach, you will not use the same design kung reteach siya. Baka may mali sa design. Hindi ikaw ang mali, ha? Do not blame yourself. Do not blame the learners. Think, review the design. So again, that's why it's a cycle. Okay? Help me connected, the three now. No question? Okay, good. Eh, ako marina yung mangot lang na yun pagdating ko ngayon din siya. Ako mangot lang since sila akong kutap. Siyempre yung sagot ni G-Well. Yes, a jewel. But why should we revisit our curriculum from time to time? Bakit ba in lesson plan, for instance, okay, on the aspect of the teacher, ha? we are viewing this on the point of view of the teacher. Ang lesson plan na ginamit ko ngayon, for instance, eh bakit kailangan kong i-review pag gagamitin ko ulit next year? Why do I need to revisit, to review it from time to time? Bakit? Totally man na, apin na pinlano ko na, I already planned for that. I already designed for that intellectually, but why do I have to revisit it from time to time? For what reason? Yes, Jiwal. Good thing, na Jiwal. Adwa kayo kung spin lakin. Hindi katipid lang dito ang pang Wi-Fi. Well, that's nice. That's good. Yes, Jiwal. Ipu natin siya ng revisit po para mas Uh, kapag bumag-start ka na kung di sa ako well, is uh, marireremind po or, or para yung mismong guide po is matandaan niyo po or maging marinig ba? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can Parang yun po, yung mastery po. Master okay, po. for mastery. Okay, baka naman kasama naman si Jiwang, no? It's correct. Baka akala mo, inasub mo na, alam mo na kasi ang tagal mo lang ginagamit. Pero meron ka palang namimiss. Okay, another reason why we need to revisit if we, is for the reason that we need to modify some parts because do you believe that society changes too well? Nagbabago ba ang society? Yes, po, sir. Nagbabago rin ba ang mga estudyante, ang mga nag-aaral from generation oh, to generation? Po. Yes. The fact that the society changes, the learners change. Okay? Of course, we need to change the curriculum because we base the curriculum from their needs. That's what we mean. We need to revisit to check if it's uh, tailored with the current needs of the learners and the society. So that's the point of revisiting. Okay. Walang tanong. 
No question, Jiwa. Okay, good. I'll go to Okay, let's define now curriculum development. It is the process of selecting, organizing, executing, and evaluating learning experiences on the basis of needs, abilities, and interests of learners and the nature of society. Like what I mentioned, we craft the curriculum based on the needs, the abilities of the learners and society. Ayan, maka red learning important in details. When you develop the curriculum, ano ano ba yung mga activities? What are the activities that we do? We select, example, in your plan, you select the objectives and the content. You organize. When you organize, the pattern, the design, you design mo na. You organize all uh, different steps. When you execute, tinuro mo na. Deliver mo na siya sa classroom. That's part of curriculum development. And you evaluate learning experiences. So you can see there are many activities that are uh, required in curriculum development. So as a teacher, we select, we organize, we execute, and we evaluate based from this uh, needs, abilities, interests of the learners and society. Higher authorities naman, ang curriculum development sa kanila, same. Namimili sila ng program, namimili sila ng kailangan. Ino-organize nila through memos, through um, uh, laws, okay? through programs. And then, ikakaskade sa mga school. They execute and then after that, in this case, they will evaluate, they will get the feedback from the schools. Ganun din tayo sa classroom. Okay, we get feedback, we evaluate. So again, it's the general definition of curriculum development. Next, it says curriculum development is a cooperative venture. So hindi ka lang mag-isa pag nagpa-plano ka. Ay, hindi nung habi ako, sir, nalak mo sino ka na. No. Ang ibig sabihin ng cooperative, it's um, a collaboration. Saan mo ba ibe-base yung mga susulat mo sa plan? Of course, from the curriculum guide na galing from either DepEd or CHED. Kung college ka, CHED. Okay? For basic education, DepEd. You need to align what you are teaching to the mandate of this recommended curriculum. Yung pwede nga itong mamanyolo ka, itong gawak ang sarili mo, batas. Sabi nga ni Kim, pag inayos yung batas, bawal, lumabas. So, bawal kang lumabas dun sa uh, mandate ng DepEd. So, you can modify, I repeat, you can modify based on the needs, but make sure that you align everything with the mandate of DepEd. Kasi nga, it's cooperative venture. Next, the factors in developing curriculum. First, nature of society. Ayan. Nabanggit na natin kanina that we de when we develop the curriculum, we consider the nature of the society. Ano ba yung kailangan nila? Ang curriculum sa Pampanga, let's say for instance, it's uh, tailored for Kapampangan people. Kaya nga ang mother tongue natin sa grades 1 to 3, Kapampangan. Hindi pwedeng tuturo mo rin yan sa Bulacan. Kasi meron silang sariling uh, mother tongue. Okay? Native language. Na iba rin sa ibang lugar. So it's tailored fit with the site second. Okay, it's not moving. Interests and needs. Na ulit ulit natin binabanggit kanina. Experiences of the learners and the society. Okay, we always start with this. And the different educational principles. Okay. You, can you still remember the different educational philosophies? Um, essentialism, progressivism. Ayan, ah, syempre natawa si Lucky ni, no? Yung magpasakit sa ulo nila na minsan nakakalito na. So we also base it from this uh, educational principles. Okay? So again, those are the factors that we consider when developing curriculum. Hindi pwedeng magsulat ka lang na magsulat o magplano na magplano. Consider these three aspects. You base everything from these three. Okay. Okay, factors that affect curriculum changes. So, these are the factors na nakaka-affect to sa mga plano. Trend, uso. Pag nagsusulat kayo ng lesson plan, di ba? At naalam mo kung anong uso? Ayun kaya ang usong pag-game ngayon sa klase. Ayan. It affects, okay, the way you write the curriculum. Hindi siya, ano ha, when say affects, it's your decision whether to uh, accept it or not. But they affect your decision kung anong ginagawa mo dun sa curriculum plan mo. Halimbawa, sa lesson plan mo. Culture. Okay, kultura ng Pampanga, you consider, and, uh, unintentionally, kahit hindi mo alam, you consider the culture of these people when you write your plan. Ay, kapampangan la rin, ituturo ka mong English. Okay, ang tingin mo na yung H, minsan, 
mawala yan because in their language, they don't have letter H. Okay? Uh, that will be your emphasis in your plan. Okay? Naturuan sila how to produce that sound correctly. Okay? Culture. Politics. You know very well that the politicians, they make programs for the curriculum, for schools. Okay? Pagawang building, laboratory, sila yung nag... Ayan, example, the implementation of uh, K-12 program. Okay, bakit ba? Sino nag-umpisa niya? And of course, our officials. Economy, it affects the curriculum. Why? Nagpa-plano ka ng lesson plan mo, kulang sa resources, ayan, economy. You, you adjust based on the available resources. The learners, na paulit-ulit na natin binabanggit. The teacher, of course, yung belief mo, who you are, your personality will surely reflect in your plan. Kung paano ka. Okay, like if you are humorous, for sure it will reflect in your curriculum implementation. The parents, they also affect curriculum changes because they suggest for programs. Uh, another, we solicit also their advice, their suggestions in some conferences. So that's part of uh, the factors that affect curriculum changes. Commerce and industry, that relates to business. Okay? Example for, for, for senior high school, di ba? For senior high school, yung, yung tinatawag na immersion. Okay, they help a lot in curriculum. Kinakontak yung mga banko, yung mga salon, o kung ano mang establishment ang meron, and then dun magi immersion yung mga sajante. Okay, commerce and industry. And then funding bodies, of course, it's school, and we need funds. Okay? And the school will operate based on the available funds. At alam naman natin na hindi naman kailangan na maraming pera, no? but money, the budget, will speak for uh, the facilities, will speak for what you can do, what the school can provide for the learners. So uh, we know for a fact that the, the better the facilities, the, better the, the higher the budget, the better the facilities in the school. And then the history or the influence of the past, of the past. It, it affects curriculum changes. Yung kasaysayan natin. Okay? And, and the past. Like what we have at present, to ano yung tinuturo natin, it's a product of the past. Diba? Like in history, we teach history. Like uh, I'm teaching English, I know for a fact that what I am teaching is a result of the past. Hindi naman bigla-bigla meron ng language. Hindi naman bigla-bigla meron ng grammatical rules. Di ba? We, these are influenced by, or these are outcome, fruits of the past. Okay, stages of curriculum development, we have 10. Pareho lang to dun sa curriculum development cycle. Inispecify na. First, determine educational or professional context. Like, uh, nasa school ka, ano ang kapaligiran? What's, what is the society that you are within? Define the needs of the learners and, uh, and uh, the school and the society. Determine the aims. Ayan, state mo na objectives mo. Identify ideas and constraints. Pag dineliver mo ba itong plan na to, what will be the possible problems? Okay? Ina-assume mo na, pero hindi mo sinsulat. Yung binanggit natin kanina na de facto, hidden curriculum. You know that these are constraints. Solusyonan mo na agad. Okay? May ina-expect kong bagyo. Ay, baka, baka lang naman na Baka mawala, masuspend ang klase bukas. So, eto ang plan B ko. Yung tinatawag natin na plan B. So, we can resolve issues earlier. Agree on the structure and framework of the program. That's designing. Allocate detailed uh, development of each topic. Like, uh, for the motivation, how will you do it? For the presentation, how will you do it? Merong pang time allotment, di ba? Ayan, you allocate detailed development of each topic. Course teams to develop coherent programs. Um, this has something to do with uh, the curriculum coming from the higher ups. Okay? May, may mga teams dyan na nagtatrabaho sa iba't ibang parts ng curriculum. Same with the school. Okay? Ang English teachers, uh, sa department nila, they work together. Oh, for elementary, Per level, di ba? Grade 1 teachers, they collaborate. And then may naka-assign sa activity na to, pero naka-assign sa activity na to. Hindi pwedeng isang teacher lang magtatrabaho sa lahat. So it's about uh, teamwork. Implement and refine the program. So after you have implemented it, what are the problems? Based on the problems na, na, na nakita mo, 
Okay, and you did not expect that to happen. You refine the program, review your, your plan. Okay, ayusin mo based from that uh, experience problem. Develop evaluation strategy and then, of course, you know, number nine, evaluation. And number 10, review and revise the course in line with feedback assessment. Okay, and then balik ka na naman dun sa number one. So these are the specific stages of curriculum development. The curriculum development cycle <clears throat> is the general. Ito yung specific, the specific activities that we're doing there. Okay, lapit na. Approaches to curriculum development. Paano nga ginagawa yung curriculum development? What do we do? What are the activities involved? Pag nag-analyze ka, example, okay, I saw the needs of the learners. This will be my objectives. You are doing analysis, okay? Then sa needs assessment. So it's already curriculum development. When you design your plan, then you design mo na, pinasulat mo na, okay? Inaayos mo na, you are organizing your plan. That's curriculum development. Select, okay? Anong pinipili? The content, the objectives, di ba? We select for the activities also. Formation, of course, after you have designed, you form the curriculum. Okay, you, have, you are expecting an output. And then, review. Since you already have the output, ginamit mo na, you implemented it, you review it. Okay, so these are the common approaches to curriculum development. By the way, review happens not only at the end. Pag mo implement, pwede mo nang i-review. You may, you may seek the advice of other teachers about the activities that you are going to use. You think, uh, let's say for instance, uh, si Merjeline, tatanong niya si Jiwa, Teacher Jiwa, palagay mo, uh, stola rin yung uh, activity sa rin, ay karing grade 4, since ikang advisor da, nung gawan mo yun, okay mo kanya, yan. Yeah. In that way, you are reviewing. At the same time, you are collaborating. Okay? So again, those are, these are the common approaches to curriculum development. So when say approaches, ito yung ginagawa natin. So, pag nag-analyze ka, nag-design ka, namimili ka, may binubuo ka, and then you are reviewing, you are doing the curriculum development uh, activities. Okay, up next, we are going to end the session. We'll have a 25-minute self-paced module reading in Neo LMS. Makikita nyo yun sa resources, so just uh, download that. And then, 30-minute uh, group discussion on Neo LMS forum tab. So, may tanong ako na ilalagay doon, a topic, you may uh, share anything you want to share intellectually. Yung alam nyo, again, it's about discussion. So, we could correct some misconceptions. If you have questions, you may also post it there under the forum tab of Neo LMS. And then after that, we will have a 30-minute quiz for Neo LMS and it will be seen in Neo LMS assignment tab. Okay? 30 time yun. I-inform ko naman kayo through our GC kung anong oras siya mag -umpisa. At I will indicate there, uh, start now. May ending yun. So you should uh, make sure that uh, you key in your answers on time. And then 30-minute intellectual exchange of thoughts. A new LMS assignment tab again to be counted as marked class participation. I will post a question. Uh, since wala tayong papel, no? We, we can, you cannot write an essay in yellow paper. Hindi natin magagawa yun. We use the new LMS assignment tab. Okay, that's again marked participation. And then five minute time allotment for feedback. Sajisi na rin. Yung feedback about the session and feedback about the online simulation. Okay, for the 30 minute group discussion, move on to the forum tabs. I will explain it to you later. Para alam niyo na. Um, questions will be posted and your responses are expected to be read during the session. Okay, just state your opinion and feel free to express your, your views and observations on the current education status. Okay, the module, paano ang module? There, there is an attached material and self-paced learning module, including this PowerPoint. I will upload it there. In the resources tabs of Neo LMS, just download the module and read and remember important concepts. Anyway, kung na-miss yung instructions na to, uh, i, uh, na, nandun na siya sa Neo LMS. It's uh, among the materials that I already uploaded in Neo LMS. So you can download and be guided with these instructions. Okay, for the evaluation, again, the quiz from 11 to 11.30, and then uh, the marked participation, it will, which will start at 11.31 and will end before 12.01 p.m. That's 12 o'clock. Clear? Question? May tanong? Okay, so question now. Jiwa question? Wala. Okay, good. 
Any clarification before we end the session? Okay, good luck. Follow the sequence and then move to Neo LMS. Sa ako masyadong pay stress, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay, sir, so I will... Thank you, po. Thank okay. you, po. Okay. Are you sure? Wala po. Wala po. Okay, so Wala. I will... Uh, and the session, ako mabibigla pag may wala yung screen, okay? Thank yes. you. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>